Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw. I, I loved how I have no idea what I'm going to see. And yeah, you understand photography just a <laughs> little. So the photo, so what I have to do is I have to kind of explain. So it's called okay. Chimborazo. Oh, then, then that one is just mislabeled. That's my Hawaii photograph. Okay. Yeah, so that's what it, yeah, the, the, the landscape looks like volcanic earth. And what's really beautiful is the cloud cover, which looks like maybe it's maybe like 400 or 500 meters up is just over or just kissing the, 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 the top of the, of the mountainous, it's not mountainous, hilly, like really kind of dramatic hills. There's the bush with a little bit of red flowers on the left. And there's a highway beautiful highway it seems to cut right into the mountain maybe not you, you have no idea what this is so <laughs> so what is this yeah so this is uh the stairway to heaven in on oahu it's a oh. um illegal hike uh but it is a gorgeous hike it's like a there's an old radar dome at the top of these this mountain uh that has these stairs that go all the way up it and it's been closed down for a long time, but if you get around, you can get up there, and it's probably some of the most beautiful views of all of, all of Oahu. Mm -hmm. So this is where I, I lived for a couple of years on Oahu, and I had done this hike early. This is this is first thing in the morning; the sun is just coming up. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, if, if you to the you know if you were looking towards the right of that photograph, my house would be down that way about a mile. Oh, um, wow. I would, yeah, I'd take that road to work. It is a tunnel through the mountains. I take that road to work. Uh, oh, wicked. Every day. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so I just watched the sh uh, watched the movie Riding Giants. So mm -hmm. are you a surfer at all, or? Um, you know, when I was a kid, I did. I, I didn't surf much in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, you know, the surfing in Hawaii is supposed to be really shit, from what I understand. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's, there's there's some places like, uh, but a lot of the places I liked, I tried to go surfing is kind of like a locals only kind of deal, and uh, ah. even though I lived there, it didn't quite qualify. <laughs> oh, okay, so so okay, so you opened this door. We're talking about Hawaii, this ho this hike up to this beautiful, I mean, it's about as spectacular as, you know, like they shot the movie, uh, like the Lord of the Rings in New Zealand because of the dramatic mm. landscape. And so, I mean, this is that kind of, or, or Lost, right? They shot Lost on... on yeah, this is actually, uh, this is where they shot a lot of Jurassic Park, the first one. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really stunning. Well, uh, Sir Lance... <laughs> uh, why? Oh, actually, oh, guess what? I just realized. First of all, this is the pod. This podcast will be the first of two 2024. So look, we're, right. we're recording for the future. So <laughs> congratulations. The yeah. other thing is that the other guest that I've had on the podcast connected to Hawaii was also Czech. Really? Yeah. That is a strange coincidence. That's pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so okay, but again, going back, why, why, why start with this this really gorgeous, um, dramatic photograph? Um, yeah, so we just left from this place. Like, we just moved from Hawaii. Uh, we're living in California, and so like now we are. And I don't know. Hawaii, as far as inside of America goes, it's where I feel most um, at home. I was actually born in Central America, and uh, the culture in Hawaii is the closest to the culture from you know where i grew up so mm -hmm. there's something about hawaii that uh, really you know clicks with me as far as feeling like home so i, I mm. think this picture okay okay so we know that you're a photographer or you have a link to photography mm -hmm. did i mean you obviously know how to make beautiful photographs but to a certain extent in a way like that landscape under the right light you knew to, to, to take your camera up for the morning shot you have this like crazy sky. Mm, yeah. So, so what's your relationship to landscape photography? Yeah, that's actually where I was. Landscape and nature photography was kind of like my first interest in photography. Because uh, I've ever since I graduated high school back in wow, in like two thousand six, I've traveled a lot. Um, I spent the next you know after I graduated, I spent the, like the next like ten years or so traveling around Southeast Asia and South America and. I didn't bring a camera with me on any of those trips except for like one of them. I didn't even, I didn't want to, I wanted it to be entirely my experience to be encapsulated by, um, you know, being in the moment and not experiencing it through a lens or anything. Mm -hmm. But I kept seeing, I kept seeing these things that I was like, these beautiful landscapes that I wanted to, wanted to remember. And so that's where I first got a camera was to start trying to take pictures of some of the things that, 
the landscape, no. the, the nature that I saw. Yeah, for sure. What do you do in California that keeps you busy? Um, I'm a teacher. I'm a eighth grade uh, history teacher at the moment. Okay. 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 So so let's go back to to Hawaii. Okay. So you know, I, th- I think to to a certain extent, like we're shaped as much by our environment that than you know, as by experience and obviously our, ex- our experiences within in the environment. And so uh, normally I record podcasts from Hong Kong. At mm. the moment, I'm in Savannah, Georgia. So, oh wow, that's my uh, wife's family is from just 45 north, 45 minutes north of Savannah, Georgia. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, well, okay. Um, so yeah, so so if we look at Hawaii in terms of how it shaped you, so ha- have you done a lot of traveling that you would? Because to a certain extent, once you you go outside of the U.S., you understand. And living in Hawaii, I, from what I've heard. Mm is sufficiently different that people go like, yeah, yeah, there's like, you know, like the continental U.S. is one thing, but the mentality mm. in Hawaii is, is different, whereas yeah. the, the mentality outside of the U.S., of course, is going to be different. So so why don't you talk about that? Um, yeah. So like Hawaii is incredibly unique in its its history and its its culture. So like it still has a very, I mean, Hawaii's history alone if you're trying to understand like why it is so unique, you kind of have to look into its history a little bit. Um, it's very recently become part of the United States. Um, you know, it was its own country for a long, long time, had a, a very, and they still have a very strong connection to their monarchy. Mm-hmm. And it's the, the culture of like caring for the land and caring for the sea and the connection between uh, them, and, like the native Hawaiians and, and the land is something that's still very strong and very prevalent. Mm-hmm. And so it's like there's there's a bit of like in the history of like American imperialism and the, how Hawaii became part of the United States really plays yeah. into a lot of the current culture and what's going on and everything there. And, and so it, it kind of takes a lot of the political sphere as well as like the cultural sphere and they're both uh, highlighted in different aspects mm-hmm. of everyday life in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. So as somebody who teaches history, did you study history? Mm-hmm. That's actually, uh, yeah, that's how uh, I got uh, my publicist actually sent me over because I, I wrote a, a book and not sure how he came across your podcast, but he's like, he sent me or you sent him. I'm not sure. He sent me the info, got us uh, connected together. So yeah, yeah. well, that's sort of, uh, sometimes publicists uh, connect us. And in your case, um, I think this is great. I mean, for me, it's all, okay, so again, the podcast is about saying, okay, look, here's your life, how do you spend your time? So in your case, mm-hmm. you're shaped growing up in, in Hawaii, and then, no, you did Did you grow up in Hawaii, or? No, no, um, no, I only lived in Hawaii, I lived in Hawaii for about three years. Okay, um, okay. That's just, but my most recent move was from Hawaii to California. Got it, got it. Okay, but, it, but so, yeah, so, you know, sometimes I get authors on the podcast because authors have a, have had to focus on expressing a story or their story or some kind of story within a narrative. Mm -hmm. And so I have photography and writing. So I'm also within the writing world. And so, okay, first of all, we have to promote your book. What's the name of the book? (laughs) Yeah, it's called uh, Youth Group, Coming of Age in the Church of Christian Nationalism. It's uh, essentially a book that highlights the, how, yeah, how Christian nationalism, how evangelicalism became the primary force inside of uh, Republican politics and kind of highlighting my, my contributions to that process. It Mm -hmm. shows like, cause I grew up in a very staunch uh, evangelical household, very much uh, Christian nationalists and kind of how I came up in that came out of that and Mm -hmm. kind of chronicles my life as well as the history of Christian nationalism inside of America. Boom. <laughs> uh, this is a lot to chew on. Okay, look, um, we're going to get back to that. So Sounds please good. please say the, the title of your book slowly, and it's going to be in the show notes, a link to the, to the book. What is it? Okay, it is uh, Youth Group Coming of Age in the Church of Christian Nationalism. Okay, by Lance Axement. That's correct. So is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So if you like what you've seen, 
and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please give it a like, subscribe, and share. Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw.